Also happening tonight, the Jacksonville City Council will consider a $62 million plan to build a new morgue. This is an update to a story that the News for Jack's I team has been following for five years now. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean live at City Hall this morning. Joe, the current medical examiner's office was built back in the 1960s. Right, uh, 1968, and that uh, facility doesn't just serve Duval County, also parts of Nassau and Clay County. So it's got a wide, uh, uh, basically a, a big jurisdiction. News for Jacks actually toured the current facility back in 2017, and even then the morgue was suffering from a lack of space. At certain points, uh, bodies were kept on the floor of the facility just because there wasn't enough room. Again, these are bodies that needed to undergo an autopsy in order to learn the cause of death, perhaps for forensic purposes or, or other purposes. Now today, the office is uh, uses a trailer unit for overflow. And uh, in a proposal before the council tonight, though, the city would spend $62 million to build a new medical examiner's facility. Also on tonight's council agenda, a proposal for another new building uh, the council will discuss a plan to authorize the mayor's office to move forward with a 40 year lease agreement between the downtown investment authority and the MOSH, the Museum of Science and History. The museum wants to build a new 75,000 square foot facility at the shipyards on the North Bank. Uh, it would pay this, uh, just $1 a year to the city under this agreement. Now the end goal is for MOSH to join the USS Orlick over there as uh, sort of a museum museum district. Uh, the deadline for the warship, uh, the, the Orlick, to move to its new location uh, is this uh, Friday. Again, this is all going to be discussed in the city council meeting tonight that starts at 5. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.